Welcome back to English 4.0, the radio show. Let's go! Advanced. All right, welcome back. Welcome, advanced students, to Advanced Class 13. We're going to start today by talking about the phrasal verbs write down, copy down, and note down, which we spoke about last time. We practiced with in the last class, but as always, we're starting with a little review today in case you either missed the show or need to brush up on things. Uh, it's always good to review and make sure, please make sure that you're following along with your student guide and also make sure that you are following the content and taking the tests online. If you have any problems with the website, bauganingles.com, if you have any problems with your account, be sure to let us know. Or if you have any questions about the grammar that we're covering, any questions, any problems, email us. We are here to help you. It's what we're here for. We have a team of tutors all ready to handle your questions, and the questions are coming in, and we're answering them. And it's great, and people are really happy with it, so please um, be sure to participate. We want to make sure that you learn as much as you can and take full advantage of the course. And if you haven't joined, if you haven't signed up already, go to baugatingles.com and get signed up so you can follow all the classes on TV, and watch them again online and listen to the content on the radio. It's a very complete course, so you can get all the details there. But, yeah, you should be signed up by now and uh, make sure that you're taking advantage of everything, right? So I have no questions to answer today at the start of this particular segment. So let's go ahead with our practice, uh, our little review from yesterday with the phrasal verbs. So, we started with write down, apuntar, to write down. So, you can write down your phone number, write down your name. Similarly, we had copy down, copy down, copiar, to copy down. You could copy down your name, you could copy down your number. So, you're, I remember when I was in school, my teacher would write things on the board in those days, we had chalkboards. We say blackboard, but they weren't necessarily black. We have this idea, and all my students in Spain say the blackboard, because originally they were black. But in my time, they were green. In my town, anyhow, we usually had green boards. They were green, but we didn't call it the green board. We called it the chalkboard, because we used chalk to write things down. Now, my teacher would write notes on the board. My teacher would write down the information, and I would copy it down because I'm duplicating what the teacher had on the board. And then we have note down, anotar, to note down the details. So someone's maybe speaking, and I'm quickly noting down the details. Now, we have another one that's not written here, which is to jot down, J-O-T, jot down, jot this down. Now, jot on its own is is not a very common way of saying to write, but to jot. You can jot someone a note. It's true. And it, it's a, it's like saying quickly writing. Something short, a short little memo or a note to someone you can write it. So we can say to jot down. Jot this down. I'm going to I'm going to tell you some something important, so jot it down. Okay? Uh, I'm going to dictate some information. I'd like you to jot it down. So in many cases, we could use write down, copy down, note down, or even jot down. And the meaning is very similar. Very similar, but it's just the same as in Spanish. Apuntar, copiar, anotar. Okay? So, um, notice how there's a similarity here in that we all have the preposition down, which is something very interesting. As you study phrasal verbs, it's important to realize and start to notice the similarities in preposition. And um, that's something that's... It, it's a very interesting way to study the phrasal verbs, and as you become more exposed to them, you'll notice similarities in the preposition. And um, 
In fact, we have a new book. Well, there's a, there's a book available for sale now um, in the Vaughn bookstore, which which are which is a book all about phrasal verbs. Actually, there are a few new books about phrasal verbs, and it breaks them down according to preposition, which is an interesting way to study them. And this way, you see the similarities, and you start to realize, wait a minute, write down, copy down, note down, jot down. The verb is changing, but the meaning is very similar. And what it has in common, what these phrasal verbs have in common, is the same preposition. Here, let's let's practice. So, did you copy down the address? Give me an affirmative answer. Yes, I copied down. I copied. I copied down. Notice how we'll link the D onto the next D. I copied down the address. Did you write down her information? Yes, I wrote down her information. Did you copy down what they requested? Yes, I copied down what they requested. Did you write down his details? Yes, I wrote down his details. Did you note down the ingredients? Yes, I noted down the ingredients. Did you write down the directions? Yes, I wrote down the directions. Did you note down the key details? Yes, I noted down the key details. Ask me if I noted down her profile information. Kyle, did you note down her profile information? Yes, I noted down her profile information. Ask me if I copied down her phone number. Kyle, did you copy down her phone number? Yes, I copied down her phone number. She gave it to me. I was lucky. I was fortunate. And she gave me her phone number and I copied it down. Great. All right. All right. Now we can review reported speech as we discussed in the last class. And we have to remember that when we're speaking in the present simple, when we report the speech, it goes back to simple past. The simple past, when reported, goes back to past perfect. And the present perfect goes back to past perfect also. Okay. So if I say, I heard the news. I heard the news. Kyle said he had heard the news. I ate the sandwich. Kyle said he had eaten the sandwich. Okay, I'm going to keep giving you more cues, and I'd like you to report the speech. I want to go to the shop. Kyle said that he wanted to go to the shop. I saw him in the street. Kyle said that he had seen him in the street. We went to the party. Kyle said that we had gone to the party. We look good. Kyle said we looked good. He drove a BMW. Kyle said that he had driven a BMW. She saw the movie. What did Kyle say? Kyle said that she had seen the movie. He wears blue shirts. Kyle said that he wore blue shirts. I live in Spain. Kyle said that he lived in Spain. I broke the glass. Kyle said that he had broken the glass. Very good. All right. Kyle said that he had broken the glass. I've finished the job. Kyle said that he had finished the job. <laughs> expression of the day. All right. Yes, it's time for our expression of the day. The expression of the day today is to be a steal. It's a steal. Means it's very cheap. Something is very cheap. If something is so cheap that uh, you should be really excited about the price, it's a steal. I was in the Rastro last week and I found some shirts. They were a steal. They were so cheap. I couldn't believe the price. What a deal. 
by a ganga. What a bargain. They were a steal. It was a steal. I bought a computer from my friend. It was a steal. He gave me a great price to be a steal. Ladies and gentlemen, that's our expression of the day. All right, we're going to practice a little bit more with reported speech, but this time using the future as well. So what we have to remember here is the future changes to a conditional. If I say, I'll do it. Richard said that he would do it. If I say, I can do it. Richard said that he could do it. So can changes to could. And then the present, present continuous, John's coming, is the, the, the example in the guide. John's coming. The present changes to the past continuous. He said that John was coming. Okay. So, I'm going to give you a cue, and I would like you to report the speech. We're working on it. And you can, you, you can use Kyle, or you can use you. You can say, you said that you were working on it. He can fix it. You said that he could fix it. Very good. We'll go there. You said that we'd go there. You said that we'd, we would, we'd, you said that we'd go there. He's hungry. You said that he was hungry. You said that he was hungry. Okay. She will help us. You said that she would help us. You said that she would help us. Where is she? You said that she would help us. They're on their way. You said that they were on their way. En camino. On their way. He's not going to be there. You said that he wasn't going to be there. You said that he wasn't going to be there. En voz alta. I'm not still... Wor- I'm, or, I'm not working anymore. I'm not working anymore. You said that you weren't working anymore. You said that you weren't working anymore. It's getting late. You said that it was getting late. Very good. It's getting late. You said that it was getting late. The meeting's over. You said that the meeting was over. Very good. All right. Vocabulary of the day. All right. It's time for the vocabulary of the day. The first word, herencia. We're talking about money here. Inheritance. Inheritance. Tormenta. Tormenta eléctrica. Thunderstorm. S-O-S. Thunderstorm. Thunderstorm. Very good. Un dicho. Un dicho. A saying. That's right. A saying. Un dicho is a saying. Fusión de empresas. Fusión de empresas. Merger. Merger. Aceite. Or petróleo. Oil. Oil. Aceite de oliva, we say olive oil. Olive oil. And petróleo, we say oil. Or we can say petroleum, but it's much more common to say oil. Oil. A barrel of oil. Oil. All right. Now let's take a look at a common structure with possessive pronouns. The possessive pronouns, mine, yours, his, hers ours, theirs, when we're talking about our friends. So I'll give you cues, and you can give me the appropriate structure, okay? He's my friend. And you can say, he's a friend of mine. He's my friend. He's a friend of mine. Are they his friends? Are they friends of his? Are they friends of his? She's Alberto's friend. She's Alberto's friend. And at home, in Bothalta, she's a friend of Alberto's. 
Still with the S, but here are the possessive. She's a friend of Alberto's. She's a friend of Alberto's. Yeah, she's a friend of his. She's a friend of Alberto's. Okay? He's Layla's friend. He's a friend of Layla's. Very good. She's Natasha's friend. She's a friend of Natasha's. She's my friend. She's a friend of mine. Out loud, she's a friend of mine. Very good. Is he Alberto's friend? Is he... Out loud. Is he a friend of Alberto's? Very good. Very good. Are they Richard's friends? Okay, give me the equivalent structure. Are they Richard's friends? Are they friends of Richard's? Are they friends of Richard's? Are they? Is he our friend? Is he our friend? Is he a friend of of ours. Very good. Is he a friend of ours? They're our friends. Yes, so is. They're friends of ours. They're friends of ours. We're their friends. We're friends of theirs. Very good. She's Fitz's friend. At home, and both alta. She's a friend of Fitz's. Yes, she's a friend of Fitz's. They're David's friends. They're friends of David's. Very good. He's Carly's friend. He's a friend of Carly's. Very good. He's a friend of Carly's. Very good. All right. Well done. Do you remember the expression of the day today? To be a steal. It's very cheap. It's a steal. Yes. I went down to the bookstore to look for some some English books, and they were so cheap, they were a steal. When you think of the knowledge you can gain from them. Yes, they were a steal. What a bargain. Okay. Now, do you remember last class, I asked you a riddle, a riddle, acertijo. The riddle that I gave you was as follows. I said, what is so delicate that when you say its name, it is broken? What is so delicate that when you say its name, it's broken. Hmm. And the answer is silence. Yes, because once you say the word silence, you've broken the silence, right? <laughs> okay, I hope someone managed to get that because I didn't see any f f via email. But um, well done to anyone out there in Radio Land who got that correct. Please stay tuned for the next program, but also remember tomorrow at the same time we'll be back with the advanced class again. So I hope you're enjoying the programs and I hope you're watching the programs on television as well and following all the materials. I'm going to sign off. I will see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>